Hello again, Green Rain here. And today we're doing level 22, Omega System number 2, Quad Arior. I'm pretty sure I butchered the pronunciation on that, but oh well. So, as some of you saw in my last video, the thief bot got me on the way out. I checked through everything, and it seems like he didn't get away with anything important, so I'm just gonna ignore it and continue on. Oh yeah, there's a lot of guppies on this level, but the main thread is from these two boar's head flanking the uh, door here, and the third one behind them. Now for some reason their AI path thing prevents them from... Oh, that was lucky. Prevents them from uh, coming to seek out what's shooting them. Which is good for us. Very, very good for us. Level number, or system two for the Omega system isn't a very hard level, I guess. The. Oh dear, I have the wrong left. Anyway, I'm. I can say with some certainty that the, uh, the hardest level of the three prior to actually getting to the boss level will be the third Omega system level. But we'll get to that in another video. Oh yeah, don't poke your nose over this wall. What you want to do is snap my homing missile into the wall first. Because as you saw, there was a boar's head waiting for us. Watch it when you come around the corner here, there's two blue guards. That's a favorite trick of mine is uh, striking a robot directly with a uh, smart missile. That way they get hit by both the separation charge and with the uh, homing flechettes. And you can feel free to spam homing missiles on this level. There's, there's quite a few of them. Oh look, a secret hatch. I wonder what could be waiting for us. Well, we'll just find out, won't we? That takes care of that problem. Other than a couple of loose spawn, but I'm too concerned with those. Remember to go sparingly on your energy in this level. You will need every last charge you can get for uh, Omega System 3. For every last point, I guess. My point is just don't waste energy. Alright. So the, the guide bot's spazzing out on the other side of his little guide bot screen, but I'm just gonna ignore him. Oh yeah. Another one. They uh they lay the boar's heads on pretty thick in this level. Guided missiles again. Also, I believe this is one of few normal levels that does not contain a thief bot, now that I think about it. Which is good news for me, because I. I really do not have good luck with the thief bot. At least not lately. I am going to be using a lot of guided missiles at this point just to clean up a few loose ends, but we'll get back to actually running the level real shortly here, folks. Alright, that should do it. Notice I'm getting low on guided missiles, so I'm going to have to try and use them a little more sparingly. Be careful when you go down there. There's, uh... Well, you'll see. Oh, dang, spider bot. Oh, yeah, there's a secret hatch over there. Not the best way to go about doing this section, but it certainly works. Oh yeah, this part. Yeah, 
yeah, be careful when you uh, come up that hatch there. There's uh, those robots. Alright. Head back up this way because I want to see if it was in that secret hatch I found. Oh, I got a couple of them. Now, there's secret hatches on either side of this door. The only way to get them is back into that corner there where the switch is. Ah, see what I mean about the spider bot adding insult to injury if you screw up? Now that I've taken care of that, we'll go deal with that large room I avoided. Now this room takes a little getting used to, so... First thing you'll notice is there's a lot of Lugards in this room. So it's not a good idea to directly go down there. And they will come hunting after you if they can see where the missiles are coming from. So you want to make an effort to uh, destroy them one by one and be sure not to hit the wall near you. That one obviously thought he was going to hit me, but... See what I mean? That one came from uh, on the other side of this wall here. That really startled me. He came through here. This is buddy. If you right click while using a guided missile, it disengages uh, manual aiming and switches to auto tracking mode. A guided missile is roughly as powerful as two homing missiles. This room's pretty darn large, isn't it? Right there, enough sightseeing. Have to pick up some Gauss ammo, and okay, we have a ton of smart missiles. So, we're off to get the yellow key now. The yellow key is through one of the doors down here. Actually, either door. They both lead to the same place. This just leads to an energy loop if you need it. Now... He moved. Usually he's sitting right in front of that exit hatch. You want to dart right in and then dart right back out. The lights go off. There's a robot that came out of there. Okay, this room is the other side of the screens that we were just on. Aren't those guys tough? Took me four homing missiles plus some gauss ammo. Now the thing that's interesting about this room is that the water in here is sort of a purple color. Well, I guess it's not that interesting, but I think it's kind of neat. Be sure not to let your headlight run. 
Now, if we get to the, to the yellow door, we actually need to double back. But, we can take this hatch that I didn't go through earlier. Spider bot. And an Omega Defense spawn. One homing missile. And we have to go back up here, go back through the blue door. And up this way. Oh, look, guided missile. How lovely. The yellow door is at the end of the hall here. Definitely need those. This leads to a U-shaped channel. Ow. I said not try not to use that trick too often. That still holds true, but it's a useful trick. How am I doing? So I have plenty. All right. Now that we've gotten the red key out of this very large room, sure why they put large rooms in? If I'd hit that both together, it would have been a lot more spectacular, but my flare was a little panicked. So I've had those Lugards really pop me good when I come out of the uh, yellow door. Now that we've gotten the red key, we can continue on to the reactor. Now something interesting to note that I've just thought of, actually, is that Omega System uh, 2 and 3 and 4, well, because it doesn't have a because it's a boss level, but Omega System two and three don't have a thief bot on them, which means I won't be losing any of my gear. Hopefully. Okay. You want to switch the Ome or to the uh, Helix Cannon right away when you come in here, because this room gets messy real fast. You want to hit this Omega Cannon. To open the wall here. Got that cloaking device. Switch to your mega missile. Clean the room out, mostly. And then deal with the reactor. And I'm gonna grab these guided missiles. I need them. Switch back to the Gauss cannon if you're using it. And then head towards your exit. Either of these hatches is a valid exit, so you don't have to be too picky. And that does it for uh, level 22, Quad Arior. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. And I will see you guys again on level 23.